Prosecution has lined up to up to 20 witnesses to testify against Busia Governor Sospita Ojamong, who is facing corruption charges together with five other public officers. And as our Monimi Mwangi now reports from the corridors of justice, the 8 million shilling graft case against Ojamong is on, a is, a, is on at a time legal experts continue to digest new rules gazetted by the Chief Justice on the conduct of mega corruption cases. No longer unfamiliar premises to Busia Governor Sos Peter Ojamong. Ojamong, the first sitting county governor to be charged in court, appeared before Milimani Chief Magistrate Douglas Ogoti, where he was together with five others charged afresh over the suspected 8 million shilling scandal. The prosecution will rely on some 20 witnesses and over 40 documents and exhibits to prove claims of abuse of office against Ojamong for reportedly entering into an agreement for a feasibility study on solid waste management with a company in Germany. A project which the prosecution says had never been budgeted for. But Ojamong's corruption case and a series of others before court proceed even as debate continues on a new directive from Chief Justice David Maraga that all high-profile corruption cases should in future be heard at the High Court instead of the magistrate courts. It will be proper that where there's a High Court, for example, the High Courts all across the country, those High Courts can, be, can create a, 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 a division where a judge can sit and listen to, to corruption cases because centralizing them in Nairobi also bring up a problem. Under this directive, all cases relating to corruption and economic crimes are to be filed at the principal registry of the division at the High Court in Nairobi. But the Chief Justice may establish additional sub-registries outside the city when need arises. The directive is largely poised to ease the case backlog at the anti-corruption division of the Chief Magistrate Courts. Murumi Mwangi, KTN News.